Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. Got quite a few requests for this one's Green Day, Father of All. It's a relatively new piece, uh, live on the Howard Stern Show. Haven't seen it yet, so let's just rock and roll and do this right now together. Here we go. What do we need to know about the Father of All motherfuckers when we perform this? What are we saying? Um, I th God. Yeah. I think it's like a combination of, it's, it's kind of a political, but it also kind of deals in sort of depression. And I mean, the first time I've ever written about money. So it's like there's the line uh, lying in a bed of blood and money. What are your feelings toward money? You know, it's interesting. Um, I've never been a big Howard Stern fan. Sorry, Howard. Uh, you're a little too crass and too <laughs> over the top for me. But um, I do really like uh, some of the questions that you ask. And I also am really enjoying a lot of the art artists that you have on Sirius now because you're... Uh, uh, you're doing you have much more of a music format, which is great. Um, but you do ask some very pointed questions and really put people on the hot seat to have to answer some hard questions. So curious to see what's going to happen here. But um, let's uh, check it out. I mean, you obviously have a lot of it. I think, like, you know, it's sort of mixed emotions about it. Like it's. Uh, <laughs> Are you the, embarrassed? The, the imposter syndrome or something like that. Like where, you don't deserve it. Um, well, I, you know, we come from such broke backgrounds that is just sort of. You know, for me, it's like, you know, my, you know, my dad was a truck driver. My brother is a plumber. My my other brother worked as a custodian and stuff like that. So it's just very working class background and uh, to have. Before I go on, um, I like seeing how clear he is. He's, um, you know, he obviously has lived a fairly clear life. It doesn't look like he's doing a lot of drugs or anything like that. So I really appreciate seeing that from a lot of these bands that a lot of them aren't even around from that era in time. So it's good to see that clarity compared to when I had not it was uh it's just been it's sort of a trip so are we gonna do this song yeah we're gonna this do is this. brand new now do, do you know all the lyrics I think so I mean have you guys rehearsed it I yeah. you know we don't want to all right from the new album this is the title track and I'll shut my mouth that's cool I haven't heard this song Okay, right up front, really tight, and a really great, interesting uh, groove. Now, these guys, if you know, uh, man, I come around, you know, their hits or whatever, this is very different um, than that. Now, what he's in, he must be using like voice live touch or something to give him those extra voices because there's more than one voice going on. Though I don't think they're playing to a track and I don't think he's singing to a track. I can't tell yet. But um, anyway, really good live, tight, tight live band. So uh, it's awesome to see that. They're NorCal bands. I'm from Southern California. So um, they used to play up and down the coast and stuff. Okay, now let's let's kind of. I want to go back here. What is he? Is he flipping God off? I'm not sure. Let's see. It. Huh. Okay, so he's flipping somebody off up there. Hopefully, it's not who I think it is. <laughs> One, oh, another thing, this is a new piece, like I said, I haven't heard, I've heard, you know, most of the, all their other stuff. Um, and they do have, you know, a lot of really uh, energetic songs and whatnot, but they've kind of taken it up a notch as far as the musicianship and the tightness of the band. And it's weird because it's almost like having a punk band 
that is is our musicians too. Not that punk bands can't be good musicians, but they usually aren't. Um, they're usually just kind of garage bash it out kind of thing. So they've combined melodic stuff, like I said, the earlier '90s stuff with um, you know this kind of you know really tight rhythm section, and then um, with a '60s psychedelic you know influence kind of thing too. Uh, you know, a modern rock sound. So they've combined a lot of really interesting elements that I really appreciate. Um, yeah, like I said, um, you know, as much as I said I'm not a big Howard Stern fan, he has brought a lot of really interesting talent on and asked some really poignant, pointed questions. So, anyway, if you guys like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that would be awesome. That was Green Day, Father of All. And uh, if you don't know who Green Day is, go back and look at some of their stuff because they have a lot of great hits through the 90s and quite a few records that it took them took them a while to get popular. So I'm uh, proud that they've still been able to hang on and they all looked really clear. They didn't look like guys that were just barely hanging on, you know, from the 90s. So anyway, thanks again, gang. And until next time, peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay, thanks guys. Peace out.